Hi and welcome. This is a new episode of Dana Tollefson's Art Challenges. So, what, two or three weeks ago she stated that it was time for a new one and this time it's called Bluebird Art Challenge. So, it's in the title. You have to use the color blue or make a bird uh, in whatever medium you work in. Or you can do both, make a blue bird. Um, it's up to you. You can follow either prompt or both of them. And um, I was thinking, oh yeah, and, and she was actually showing quite a few blue birds on the introduction video. And I kind of expect that somebody would do all of those. Um, there's like kingfishers and peacocks and maybe some turkeys and yeah, lots of bluebirds. And I'm thinking, hmm, I could cheat and just do one I already have and maybe have some footage, but no. Anyways, I decided on not doing a bluebird. I would do a bir bird in blue, um, kind of in a monochromatic style. So, and I was thinking, everybody's going to do pretty blue birds. Oh, not everybody, somebody. Some of the other participants will do pretty blue birds. And for some reason, I my mind fixed on vultures, because they're so not pretty. But there's something about them anyway. So I was thinking I'll make a, a, uh, a vulture in a blue-leaning color, and... That blue color has to be something like Payne's gray, so it's just something that leans towards blue, or the blue is a part of it. So this was actually what I sketched out very soon after um, Dana announced the thing, the, the challenge. And yeah, this is what I do when I watch YouTube. I test paper and colors <laughs> um, a lot. And then I was thinking, oh, I could also do it in colored pencils or charcoals and drawing pastels. And so I was trying this and I was trying with a little bit of color. And I had some other sketches here with, along with testing out the, the blues I, I have and mixtures and stuff. There's some sketches down here. I quite quickly found one photo uh, on on Splash that I thought I was going to use. And this is just a sketch where I was still considering um, charcoal and, and pastels. And then I was considering something else. This is done in pens. Um, so koi watercolor pens, I think. And then I decided, no, I have to do it <laughs> with watercolor because July is watercolor month. So um, all this whoosh, away. Then I have this pad of paper um, from Clairefontaine and it's 100% cotton and it's extra rough, it says, and it's huge. It's a 40 by 30 by 40 centimeter size. And I've never used it, so I took out a sheet of that, and um, since I never used it, I thought I'd better check if it was any good. So, um, back to, like, the beginning. More doodles with watercolor and other watercolor. This is actually watercolor, and this, I think, is watercolor pencils. Yes, it is. Um, I'm starting to think that my art style really is just doodles because this is how nine tenths of my paper end up looking but the paper was okay have to be a little careful with too much water and it's not as rough as uh, extra rough kind of maybe indicates to some people and the next thing I get is what do I use for color I've been testing here some brands and stuff because I also decided I needed a warm tone to to kind of sets things off a little bit so it's not, it's not entirely monochrome and with all this I now got my paper and I settled for sepia and uh, indigo from Rembrandt I don't have a um, paints gray 
from Rembrandt, but uh, I was quite happy with how this indigo looked. So, and I got leftovers from last time's uh, challenge where I was so unprepared, but I actually done a lot of preparation this time, and I looked at so many license-free photos of vultures, it was just insane. So, but, and I settled on a totally different one than, of course, the one I started with. So there we go. Caps on. And I'll keep these here. Um, my pencil I don't need because I have done my sketch. So, I have a very faint outline of the final... It's a portrait. And you'll see it more clearly as I start going. I just needed some guidelines to to follow. And there's another pencil. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure what brushes I'll end up using. Um, probably a little bit of everything. So here we go. And I'll find some music. I wish I could play Disney's uh, Vulture song, We're Your Friends, from Disney. It's the only Disney movie I really like. And the Vulture song is actually hilarious. So if you want to listen to that, go put play it in the background. And you can find it on YouTube and just mute my music. So have fun.
So here we are all done. It came out quite close to what I had in mind. Um, here you can see why I don't really do animals with long fur or fluffy feathers. Um, it's an area I need to practice. But by and large I'm quite happy with it. It was fun to play with the salt. I think there's still some on here. It sticks really hard on the paper. I don't know if it's the paper or what. It's the first time I ever used salt. I always have to put something in my challenges that I've never done before or I'm not used to or something like that. So new paper and salt was my try today. Thank you all for watching and I'll be out of here because I got a video to e edit and then I got a binge watch the bluebird art challenge because I'm gonna see what everybody else did some people have already uploaded but I haven't looked at the videos not because I don't want to but because I didn't want their choices to influence my view on what I want to do so uh, see y'all go check that hashtag out it's good I promise that there's lots of good artists that participate Thank you.